What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech and today I'm going to show you an awesome replacement for your Lumetri clock here. At 200 bucks, it's not cheap and, and putting price aside, I don't think it's all that nice looking personally. I was looking for something a little bit more on the classier side and thanks to Michael Clement's video, this is his DIY project. I found this e-ink display and I think this looks really cool. This is something you can put in a shadow box or you can put in a regular frame. Hang it up, connect your Raspberry Pi, connect a little battery pack to it and you're good to go. But this is an awesome project. I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to tell you the cost at the end of the video as well. But let's go ahead, check out this e-ink display for your YouTube counter and let's just figure out how to put it together. I'll link all of these items that I use down in my description below to set this up. I would say it's on the easier side. It really is copy paste. Again, thanks to Michael Clements who put a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll also link to his video and his tutorial down in the comments below. But for this project, you will need a WaveShare E-Ink 7.5 inch display with a Pi hat for your Raspberry Pi. I chose to use the Pi Zero here because, well, it is a cheap option and you don't really need a lot of power to run an e-ink display. It's only going to refresh a couple times a day and it doesn't take a lot of power at all. You will need a case. I'm going to change it up a little bit from his video. I did buy a case. And you will need a micro SD card. I'd recommend at least a 16 gigabyte, but if you have something laying around, that should probably work as well. So let's get into the steps and I'm show you how I set it up. Before removing the plastic film, my suggestion would be make sure your cutout is perfect because you don't want to remove this plastic film if you're still going to cut this mat. This e-ink display is pretty fragile. I'm not going to lie guys, it is a fragile display. I'll leave my dimensions down in the video description because I went to Michael's but you can go to your local craft store and they will custom make you a mat to fit a shadow box or whatever type of frame you're using. But that's my only recommendation because the e-ink display is very fragile and, and you don't want to get any scratches on it. Now on the back I chose to use electrical tape instead of a glue gun like what Michael Clements used. I chose electrical tape because I might want to change out this frame later on. I might want to change out the mat. I might want to do a bunch of different things later on in the future. And I don't want to have to deal with, with glue that might actually ruin the e-ink display. So electrical tape is a good way to do it. Electrical tape is still holding up to this day. It's about three weeks later since I've done this project. So I'm happy to say use electrical tape and then you can change it up anytime you want. The next step is to make a cutout through the back felt of the shadow box frame. And in order to do this, I just took a razor blade, I measured it out, and I, it doesn't have to be perfect because it is going to be behind the mat, so you're not really going to see it. If it's a little too large, don't really worry about it all that much. Just ensure that it is centered, and that's really the only precaution that I can tell you guys. The next thing that you want to do is just pull the ribbon cable through those cutouts very, very gently. Again, ribbon cables are pretty fragile. And once you do that, you can put everything back into the shadow box. You can clip it all into place. And now for the next part, again, I put my Raspberry Pi Zero in a case, and I am going to use a glue gun to glue it to the back of the shadow box frame. I also decided to put a little battery pack on the back because I might want to make this a portable frame. The battery pack itself is not going to power up your Raspberry Pi forever and ever. This is only about a, a couple hours solution, three hours or four, depending on the size of your battery pack. But it is a good way if you want to refresh your display at a specific time. You can just go ahead, plug it in, let it refresh, and then unplug your battery pack. At the end, I did decide to make it more of a fixed focal point in my house. So I do have it hardwired to an electrical source. I do actually have this plugged in at all times. Now the fun part begins. You can see everything's starting to come together. Everything is starting to look really, really nice. It is very simple. All you have to do is copy paste every line of code that he put in. For the Raspberry Pi, I decided to go with the light OS, but you can do a full OS if you want, if you want an actual graphical interface. And you do need to enable SSH on the Raspberry Pi as well as put in your Wi-Fi information. If you don't know how to do this, I will leave links down in my description below. Once you log into your Raspberry Pi again, now I did this on a Windows machine and I remotely logged into the Raspberry Pi Zero. All you have to do is pull up Michael Clement's guide and it is as simple guys as copy and pasted each line of code. Copy one line, wait for it to finish, copy the next line, wait for it to finish, so on and so on. This is the finished product and I think it came out really well. This is something I'm very proud to display on my mantle. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, if you have 20 million, if you have 2 million, or even if you just have 20, it's still an accomplishment to be on YouTube. It's still a lot of fun to be on YouTube. I have a lot of fun making videos for you guys and, and I'm just having a blast as well. So I wanted a way to actually showcase that. And I think it's an awesome project. If you end up doing this project, send me over a photo on Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see what you did differently. I'd love to see how it came out as well. And if you want to, you can have it refresh your stats into the gram and into Facebook and you can have it act more like the Lamentia clock. 
that's really up to you. With the e-ink display and a Raspberry Pi, it's really just limitless. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you in another video.